Hi everyone, this is Mundan Raghavan. Today we are going to see delete method in Python Flash tutorial. In previous videos, we have seen get method and post method, which are relatively for creating and updating. Today we are going to see delete method. As we see in the previous videos, we know that we have the list of products with a name and its product. For example, name, watch, name, pen, everything will be a, let's say document and inside it will be the list of documents. So inside the products, you will be having the list of dictionaries. Simply you can see. So here when you come to the delete, so as usual, we are using the app dot root. We are making the URL path and we are giving slash remove product and the name of the product. Then we are using the method as delete simple then we are creating one method here we are passing the name then if you think in a sequential way we are iterating each product in the product and wherever it matches with the name whatever the name we have given with the key name it is value will be matching with the value what we are passing in that case we are removing the product from the list then we are returning the product or we are returning the message like product is removed so a simple for as it is if the product is not found we are telling product is not found so it is like a sequential play but however, we have learned about map, filter, reduce and all. So we are going to do in a different way of implementation. Just I will comment this one. And we will go down. And here you can see the same URL path slash remove product under the name and method is delete. Here I'm going to use the global variable products because I'm going to assign one more time the same products. So that's why in your, in your case, let's say you are using the global variable inside for assignment that time you need to use, use the a keyword called global because you are going to use the global keyword. So here global products I am going to use and after that products is equal to just we will come from the internal flow. So filter inside the function is like lambda and taking the product from the products list and it will take the product and it will look whether it is not equal to name. So that means that other than name, whatever we are passing, that everything will be given to the list. So that list will be reassigned to the products. That means that we are just filtering the list, new list, which will not have our given name. So in that way, we are making little twist in the function. And after that, we are changing into the list by typecasting and we are assigning back to the products. Since we are using the same variable products for the processing as well as for assigning, we need to mention the line global products. Then we are returning the products again. So simple as it is. So just we will run it and see. So fine, it's running up and running. We'll go to the postman. Here get all products. I'm just getting the get method. Here you can see watch, pen, clock, speaker. Now I'm going to remove the clock. So let's see for change. I'll remove the clock and I have changed the method as delete and I'm clicking on the send. So it returning the remaining products, it returning the remaining list you can see. Again, if you go to the all products just to make sure clock is not coming again, just click on send and you will not get the clock here. So simple as it is, so in this session, we have seen how to make the delete method. We have seen two methods, one is like a normal flow, iterating each product and seeing the key and value pair combination, we will remove that product. In other way, we have used the filter function. This filter function will work as like a, it will make a new list which will not be having the name what we have given. So in that way, we have mentioned the not equal to symbol. So whatever the name we have given, apart from that, all the products will be added to the list. So that list again will be assigned to the products. In order to use the global, let's say global variable products inside for assignment, we will be using the statement like global products. And we are returning the products again to the console. So this is all about the delete method. So thanks all, thanks for watching and have a great day.